थैंक यू फॉर विजिटिंग माई चैनल अगेन यू आर वॉचिंग कैलीग्राफी एंड आर्ट बाय मिथ टुडे आई एम पेंटिंग इलस्ट्रेशन ऑफ माउंटेन एंड विद पेंसिल आई एम ड्राॅइंग माउंटेन्स जस्ट टू प्लेस माई ऑब्जेक्ट्स एज माउंटेन्स आर द मेन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ माई पेंटिंग सो दे आर गोना बी थ्री माउंटेन्स वन ऑन द मोस्ट मोस्ट लेफ्ट साइड इज मीडियम साइज ऑफ माउंटेन and the central one is most biggest and on the most right side there is a smallest mountain so i'm just resizing them and you can erase these extra lines or you can leave it as i'm going to leave them as it is because they are going to covered by paint later so here is the sizes of my mountain i just draw them now i'm going to use first of all yellow color for the uh, for the sky I'm using yellow for sky because in illustrations we can use dramatical colors for the for different objects. And again I'm using acrylic paints and using a big paint brush with the soft hair and applying it on the on the background or you can call it sky sky portion and just covering the whole area equally with the same color. there we go it's almost done and illustrations are so interesting and we can we can be so creative in it and we can do experiments so i'm using i'm doing an experiment here uh, because i'm using yellow for the sky now i i here i poured out blue ultramarine blue color in my color palette to cover the mountains and this is the first base color which i'm uh, applying on the mountains i leave some some spot on the top of my mountain just to add the lighter color tone to give it a lighter effect on the top because uh, i want to show some uh, snow on it there we go i'm almost done painting the second bigger mountain as well and now i'm applying paint on the smaller smaller one and i leave this empty spot because i want to uh, give a darker shade here uh, for that i'm going to use this navy blue color here i put in my palette and there a little bit a uh, drop of black now i'm applying navy blue to to merge it gradually and added a little bit black on it to give it a shade on every mountain on each mountain i'm going to give it a uh, darker shade on the left side of mountain and merging it gradually the same way i'm um, adding the shade on the most right mountain now it's turn to add the same darker shade on the left side mountain here you can see i just merged them gradually and now i would like to add some lighter tone on the top of the mountain and this is paradise blue and i'm applying it right away because i want to merge them and i need my darker tones to be wet and they are wet that's why i'm applying it right away so they will be merged properly so from top to down it's going to be lighter to darker here you can see it got merged now the same way same thing i'm going to do on on all mountain there we go i feel that there was a uh, more paint on it i'm extending this color tone to to downwards to enhance the more combination uh, of darker and lighter here i'm just giving a little bit more touches to it and some final touches to the smaller mountain there we go and uh, look at this on the view on the beautiful yellow sky the combination is looking beautiful it looks beautiful and giving a dramatical effect to my painting you can try to if you like this painting and whenever you try you will try if you have any questions or comments you can ask me in the comments box and tell me that how does it turn out
okay now i'm going to apply yellow layer one more time on the sky area because yellow is itself is light color so sometimes the background color or background paper color is visible so just to hide the paper color i'm just giving a second tone of layer second layer of same tone just to cover them up here we go okay now the bottom area i'm gonna you i'm gonna paint so many small trees and for that i'm gonna use different tones of greens here you can see lime green and viridian green sap green and i will create more tones with these colors as, as i will add white in it or in some color i will add yellow to create different tones of these greens i have started with sap green and here the second tree gonna be with darker tone this is viridian green they are tall trees and they will cover the bottom area of of the mountain like they are covering the bottom of mountain i just add a little bit yellow in in this green to to make it more lighter okay now i just put a red color to create my own color tone which is gonna be peach orange or orangish and this tree is a little bit like in a, in an oval shape trees are gonna be look like um like they have a different variety of trees they are different variation they have like every tree is different and they are just side by side and they are overlapping each other here you can see i poured out some light purple and the purple is just beside the green one just to give it a more eye-catching colors and they are side by side and using different tones now i just added some white color in viridian green to create a different green tone here you can see it's little bluish light light tone so that's how you can create too here is on the dark area of my mountain i put a pinch of yellow and it's more bright on it like it's popping out and here's a big green just keep applying randomly any any color anywhere any shape any tree that's how i'm going to cover the whole area and by overlapping each other trees because they, i want to show so many trees on um like from the from a far look we are looking so many trees and they they have different shades of tree uh, leaves on it they are overlapping each other they are beautiful in illustration we have we have like open mind we can use our open mind we can add anything whatever we like okay the same way i'm using different tones adding different colors overlapping each other and some of some of these colors i'm repeating them again but on a different spot just need to cover some more uh some more there are some gaps and i'm just gonna cover them there we go some bigger and smaller trees there's one on the top big big one a light green okay almost done just a little bit and then the foliage gonna be finished okay here i'm adding eyes on the mountain and i have used white color there is some snow on the top of the mountain just showing the head of the mountain 
and I added a pinch of black by using the tip of my paintbrush the the most left mountain is looking at the bigger mountain and the bigger mountain the central one is looking in the sky okay I just overlap these lighter colors because as I have told you lighter from if we are using any light color they like the back color can be seen through the lighter color so it's better if we de redo it okay I have added the smiley face on the mountains look at these they are cute just adding some more trees to give it um, like a rush and a big bunch of mount of big bunch of trees there we go filling the gaps and using more different tones whatever tones you can see in my color palette i have used used all of them in my in my trees okay there's a bigger round one using a little bit different tone which can be more visible all right just covering up carefully because it the dark green on the right side like that dark green tree is overlapping this one okay a tiny yellow pinch because i wanna just fix the yellow tree hopefully you are enjoying this video okay if you like this illustra illustration of mountain please tell me in the comments box like my video subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and ask them to paint too here are a few more steps left and our painting will be my painting will be complete just adding few more final details let's add a bird there is a bird and there is one more bird on the other bigger mountain it's so easy to draw birds and they look they looks beautiful they are flying in the sky over the over the jungle or over the trees here yeah, I just fixed the eyes of mountain because uh, when I when I put black color to to make eyes the white was wet that's why I just waited and it was dry now and then I fixed them okay now here is the time to add some tiny trees on the top of the mountains I draw three straight lines with the, with dark brown color and two straight lines to make the stem of the tree and now I'm pouring out sap green color and using the dot dot technique I'm using dot technique this time and uh, with the round paintbrush which has a pointy tip and created little trees on the head of the mountains now I think I would like to add um, a cloud and for that I'm using cotton ball and some white paint just dip it a little bit and tap 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 here I just make a cloud on um, on the top of the left or left mountain and giving it a little bit bluish effect on the cloud here is it my cloud is almost done and now I'm painting a tiny drops of water to show the rain that cloud is raining on one mountain it's only on the one mountain and the bigger mountain is looking looking at it i will show you a closer look later to show the how uh, to show the 
rain drops from a closer look now it's time okay this is what i'm gonna do because now trees are dry now properly okay now i can add some stems and branches on it just to just to show you how i use different colors and different tones and on some trees i'm i'm using dark brown color i don't had dark brown that's why i mixed a little bit black in it to create my own dark brown color and using a round page paint brush which has a tip okay now on some trees i'm using white color to draw stem and branches on it on some trees i'm using just spots a straight line spots on and using different colors different random colors okay on some on some um, trees i have used lighter green spots and on some trees i have used dark green spots but on the darker tree i have used white color to draw branches on it and the same pattern i have i have applied on all there we go painting is ready let's have a closer look look at these beautiful birds and a happy face tiny trees on the top cloud and rain I really enjoyed this painting because it was close to my heart, beautiful colors and it was outstanding. That's all for today. Take care. Bye-bye.